experience from both uh, the hardware and the software side, which I think is, is interesting to hear about the, how those two things work together. And so, John? Cool, thank you. Um, so, I'm going to let you read the slides and I'm going to inject a bit about what I've seen the transition in the workplace, specifically about interoperability. Because for me, the reason I came today is that I've had 15 years of working in public sector at Oracle. And a lot of the programs that you've seen on the internet, like Linux Unbreakable, I did it with Red Hat. Um, interoperability with election manipulation language, I did that. Um, how we did NATO interoperability at the desktop, I did that. So I'm going to inject nothing about product. You can see them on the slide. They're all open source products today. Um, I'm more talking about what we're doing in the actual workplace with our customers. So we can go on to the next slide. So the Oracle policy for many years has been about open integration. Why has that been critical? We've acquired a lot of firms, that's a given. If you look at a lot of our customers, they've acquired businesses. If you look at the way the, the industry is changing, the way that actually governments are changing, the way the actual interworking within the workplace is becoming now has to be open. If you look at the transition we're in at the moment, specifically in the downturn, and hopefully soon to be in the explosion on the upturn, the challenge we have is people need to share. Now sharing is also a problem, because you can have open standards, you can have but the risk of data passing. And actually a lot of the work I've done in the past is actually about how do we constrain the security of the solution at the desktop, and how do we actually provide documents, unstructured, structured, in a secure, collaborative way. Because for me, the biggest enabler and the biggest inhibitor to this technology is probably security. If you look at most CIOs, most customers I work with, if they look at public cloud, private cloud, if they look at the desktop, they're always worried about how do they share securely. Because once the information has left, left their database or left their IT establishment, it's out in the domain. We've got many cases where laptops have gone missing, data's been exploded. What Oracle is about is the way we've integrated all of these acquisitions, and I think we're up to 79 or 75, I can't remember, is we actually support only open standards, if an open standard exists. And if it doesn't, we generally go and assist the OASIS or W3C to create an open standard. So I'm going to inject some government open standards that I've worked on. Um, some of them are UK-centric, uh, some are NATO and some are EU. Um, for me, the thing about the open standard which allows the desktop to be more interactive is a capability of choice. Because if as long as we support the same open standards, we can choose what the platform choice is. And then we can get into a technical argument about which product's best. Now, the other thing about Oracle is, is about integrating our stack. Because if you've seen, iPad is prolific. If you go to the US now, actually, I went to a meeting and I was the only person with a laptop. And everybody else had apples. And actually, Apple is quite a locked in technology. But what it is brilliant at is ease of use. So in the workplace, ease of use will become the characteristic. The generation of people that are going into IT today are more about ease of use, speed of access, and openness. They don't care about what we used to care about or what I used to care about. When